Hey there folks, this is GreenyXI welcoming you right back to Let's Play Resi 4. This is episode 16. The last episode we finished off chapter 3, 4 and took care of Ashley's little survival horror element. I did mean to show off the suplex with Ashley, but it didn't end up happening. Uh, there we go. Anyway, these are all the items that we found with Ashley. So you might as well grab all of them while you can. We've got a spinel or two as well, but they don't show you getting them. Uh, let's grab one more. It's good to have the shotgun equipped for this part coming up, because we're going to do an optional bit. Ah, oh, what a touching moment we have here. All spoiled thanks to your interruption. Why don't you do us all a favor and leave before the audience gets pissed off? <laughs> You're nothing but an extra in my script. So don't get too carried away. Your biggest scene is over. I don't ever remember being a part of your crappy script. Well then, why don't you show me what a first class script is like through your own actions? Yeah, why don't you, Leon? <laughs> anyway, if I show you the map a sec, then we can either carry on, that's the way we need to go, but we're going to be heading backwards a little bit to... Where is it to... Well, it's on you somewhere, I know the way. <laughs> we'll just do it this way. Oh, Lewis. Yeah. Pay for your death, shitheads. The reason I like to keep the shotgun on for this part is simply because, well, it can get us through you quick. The only risk is that we go Ashley with us, so that's a bit of a bugger. But it only takes like a couple of minutes to get back there, so it ain't that bad. And you get something really good, like a couple of really good things actually. So you really don't want to miss it. I'm just going to ignore these guys, could be fine. This is the one I wanted to keep the shotty on for. Get him out the way a bit. And there we go. We'll have to do the same coming back through as well, that's the only thing. But if you come this way, look at what you get. You get loads of stuff in this room. There's also a snake. I'll point out where that one is. It's one of the boxes around here. No, not them. See, you get so much ammo, health items. There's no reason to skip this this room. There we go. Got yeah, your little shit. Can I have an egg? Yeah. Only a white one. There we go. The gold eggs that I'm hoping for. We I don't think we've got a single one this playthrough, have we? <laughs> Just my luck. Trying to show it all off and... Nothing. Nothing. Okay, let's go to this. We can come back through this way as well now. This way. This is the part where I always get mixed up. It's either going back further or coming this way. But, you know. That's my amazing sense of direction for you. You can remember I said about this before when we came through as just Leon. You can't get through the door because you're on your own. But you can't use piggyback by you until you check the door out. It won't open. It's locked from the other side. With a little help from another person, I just might be able to get in from up there. Yeah. So now you can get do this. I keep trying to move Ashley a little bit out of the way by using the right stick, like in Resi Zero, but <laughs> it don't work. <laughs> I keep saying this is the last time I use piggyback, and I think this actually is. Ah, oh, there you go. I forgot what button it is to... Get her to follow now. Ah, one. There we go. I haven't played the game or recorded the game in a little while, so bear with me a little bit. The big chest is going to be the good one, isn't it? We've got a free magnum, and in this chest is good too, the elegant perfume bottle. <laughs> so if we have a look at our magnum now, this is the one I tend to keep with me all the way through the broken butterfly, just because it's free. No real reason for it. Right. It only takes up three spit. Oh, four, is it? Oh. Okay, we'll chuck this by it. Uh, chuck this by it. And there we go. That should be it. Once we get rid of the rocket launcher, we'll be fine with space again, but for now, it's a bit... Yeah. <laughs> a bit all over the place, uh, to say the least. But yeah, the magnum's really good. Every magnum is really good. Okay, I'll see you back where Lewis died. I'm just going to follow the same path back anyway. 
Here we go. We are back. Ah, oh, don't like seeing that. Oh, is it, oh, his eyes open or shut? They're open. That's even more freaky. <laughs> Anyways, we can finally carry on. There's a lot of hard parts left in the castle now. Uh, parts that I'm a little bit nervous about. <laughs> All for the best. That's what we'll do. Ah, oh, the lava bit. I remember this bit. Ooh, hang on. What we got coming up is Ashley free. Even though we only just got her back, we're going to leave her behind again and risk, you know. Right here. <laughs> She'll just stay this way. This is one of my favourite effects from the entire game. I love Salazar or, you know, Salazar's family's sense of style and everything for the castle. Look at it all. Who wouldn't have magma in their castle other than Bowser? It's great. Okay, I'm going to check on the sniper because this will be good. Very good for this next room. It's a huge room. And as it just made blatantly obvious, this uh, blue chest on the other side giving us our third item. Our third key item to get through that wall back in the main hall. The way to get rid of these guys, I tend to go for the chains. You can kill off the man or the enemy, but I like to go for the chains. No real reason why, but... There we go. But yeah, I've been playing Resi 5 a bit lately. And the controls are similar, but just different enough to make you confused when you switch between 4 and 5 a lot. So, this that. And also, the Sniper in 5 is fully upgraded and everything, so that might be the difference. But the Sniper in 5, it's sort of... You get to shoot a lot quicker between shots. <laughs> Does that make sense? It does. So if you're missing five, it doesn't even matter. Let's get this chest as well. These chests appeared as we saw when we destroyed the statue things. Because you don't have to destroy them. It's only this one you have to destroy. It's pretty tough as well. Because you can't even kill the enemy with a headshot. You have to go about it a bit differently. Just get just out of range of it all. Here we go. Oh shit, at least it didn't destroy the floor, that would've been good, didn't? or the bridge. And here we go. That is all this room is all about. There is a little bit of a, a tough situation on the way back out, but, you know, it's not too bad of a room. And it's the lion head, so like I said, we have all three now. I'm gonna get the handgun back on, so that I don't use up too much sniper ammo. I could go through the entire game just using sniper, if it's... If I had enough ammo, because I find that the easiest way to deal with a lot of enemies. Oh, more enemies then coming out. Sometimes, I think as if I think it only happens while you're f taking on that sort of dragon statue head. Enemies will pop out from you, like loads of them. I think infinitely, so that they try and slow you down. This bit by yeah, it's sort of it. It kills me to wait for that. If I just miss the opening, and you just stand in there waiting for it to come back around. Something that I always found interesting. The fire smoke marks on the walls for this room. I never saw it in many other games. But I didn't play many of these sorts of shooting games, so maybe that would explain that. Anyway, that's all we're doing over there. Come on, Ashley. Time to go. Wait. Oh, don't wait. Don't be a dirt. <laughs> safe point by there, but where we're going next, there'll be another safe point. So, they're pretty close together bizarre. Anything wrong here? I don't think so, but I might be wrong, see? Nope, okay. Oh, I love these. Once again, Salazar, or his family's sense of style, was like a theme park going around the castle. Look at it. It's amazing. Like your own little train system. The only issue I see with having something like that in your house is if it messes up, you don't have anyone around to fix it, or even if you could call someone in, you know, for the short term, it might... Might be a very dangerous situation, I think. Okay, nothing else around yet. And now, this is the other side to... In the main hall, there's, there's another door. And here we are. We're back in the entrance of the castle. Let's, <laughs> let's get going. This is the other save point I was talking about. We're not going to use it here either. I don't think we can combine these. I'll try it. No, so you have to use them one at a time. If we go back to this part, 
Which you could do if you didn't go for the lava room, but then just came straight back. I can see why some people would do that. You would be missing the lion head and you would be looking around the place for the last one. Even if you could just check out your map and see kind of where it is. Yeah, we finally made it past. A whole chapter later. Good. Good stuff. We're going to go up the stairs to the right a sec. You don't have to come up here, but it lets you see where one of the gems were that we got when we first came in. And as well as that, it gives you... What is it? I can't remember. A grenade, okay. I'm pretty sure it was a grenade last time I went through the game too, so I think it's like a standard thing. That's where the gem was, wasn't it? But we shot it down and got it earlier. That's all I come up here for. Not a whole lot, really. Ooh, money. <laughs> they worship him so much they put money behind his head. <laughs> I love it. Right, let's go. I can't remember the order of things in the castle, so, you know, no matter how many times I've played through this game, I still can't, so. It took me quite a few playthroughs before I found out you could actually jump over your own geddies. <laughs> Stupidly. The last one of these already. I love these so much, and the fact that there's only two in the game, they're right next to each other. So sad, so sad. Did you see in the background then as well, there were other sort of castles or mansions? Weird, because we don't get to check those out. I would love to. Okay, let's get this. Nice, we've got plenty of ammo and stuff. And healing items, actually. We've got loads of stuff on us that we can use. We have a blue. Loads of money as well. Who's that meant to be? That he's so important that they put money behind his portrait as well. Uh, as the usual portraits. Can you... No... Here we go. Don't go straight forward yet because it will lead to bad things. Bad things. And you won't be able to do everything anyway. We'll go this way first because it's the part where you get to see a bit more of Salazar. And I like that. So, I like going this way first. Not I always do, but... <laughs> you know. I do like it. Just check on two of the statues on two of them. You can probably see where this is going. It's not much of a puzzle. Chuck her on one. Oh, oh yeah, I told you to wait, you do it. I did press R1, it just didn't do anything. And there we go. Follow me. Anything in here? I don't think there is, but I've been known to be wrong. I think you've lived long enough. Let's see if you can survive this time. Okay, this is a room where, if you're doing a knife-only run, I can't... I've seen someone do it online, I've seen someone do it with a knife and going around swiping at it all for the last second kind of thing. It seems like one of the hard parts of a knife-only run, it really does. Right. Another cutscene coming up. Another Salazar based. No, actually no, it ain't Salazar based. <laughs> Easy enough part so long as you got a sniper. Again, knife only run. This part would be impossible actually. I don't see how you would do it. Come on, come on through you. You little scamp you. Ah, oh, but yeah. The chest set. I always thought, why the hell can't you collect pieces and combine with it? That would be a really interesting one, collecting chess pieces around the castle and stuff. I would have loved that. But no, they didn't do that. Either way, here is the Queen's Grail. There's one more grail to get, we'll get that as well now. Because why the hell not? Is it? Yeah, I thought I missed a barrel. Ah, oh, bollocks. I didn't mean to press triangle, I meant to press up. <laughs> Bit of a difference. But even up would have been wrong, so... There we go. Uh, mm. No, we won't go through the door yet. 
There is a door around here that leads to a merchant. And a bit more. Or not. Sample retrieved. As you may have heard, Lewis Sarah has been disposed of by Lord Sadler. The sample is back where it belongs. I had hoped that the whole matter could be resolved without troubling the Lord. However, as long as the sample is safe, we can all rejoice, for our time is nearly at hand. Now that the sample is back in our safe hands, it'll be a bit more difficult for that troublesome woman to get it. In light of all this, it's unfortunate that Sarah had to go. Like us, he would have had a bright future if only he had shown more faith in our beliefs. As for the other two Americans, the Lord has left the matter in our hands. We must not disappoint the Lord. We shall capture Ashley and take her to the Lord and dispoy of the American agent. Dispose of. Dispoid? Is that a word? Don't think so. Anyway, Lewis is dead. They're after Ada. They're after us. They go to one of their targets, so. Yeah, I know. Nice bit of lion scenery around here. You'd think maybe it would be dangerous, but no, not really. And like that, which I just pressed L1 and R1 first. Oh my god, that stressed me out. At least Ashley can't be killed with that stuff. That is lucky. Keep her out here. Whatever you do, keep her out here. Chuck the shotgun on, and we're going to be using a few grenades as well, so. Wait. May wrath of evil befall the one who disturbs this holy grail. Yeah, we're taking the king's grail. Trap time. I love this part. I mean, without a shotgun, you have some problems. Grenades might work as well. I'm, I'm sure they do. But, you know, you've got to look out. They do a ton of damage, especially on the floor, as you know. What I like to do, take off the three helmets, and then you can probably see where this is going. Get a flash grenade on the go. Bit. All done. There's still another part, but all that part's done. <laughs> And we'll do the same again. This time though, is a bit more dangerous. Because the enemies are not just suits of armour, they are black suits of armour. What? They've got different heads on them and they've got axes as well, which are a bit faster and stuff. Which is quite strange for you know, axes, you think they're slow, but not in this game apparently. Done. Easy enough. As long as you've got the right equipment and stuff. Let's combine a few of these things. Okay. Okay, it's up with it. Add them with it. Sorted. Plenty of money from this part as well. 6,500 just from that one drop just then. All of them. It's really good. You have to kill them or you can't get out here, so... <laughs> Not much choice in the matter. But it's like a mini-boss, I suppose. That's the only time in the game, actually, where... You take on the suits of armor. You see them now and again where they like the QTE form. Follow me. But, like these, by yeah, just now. But, no. That's it. Okay, let's go and see the merchant because there's something else you can do there as well. And you don't want to miss it. We're getting some bottle caps. Hello, sir. I'm not going to bother shopping from him yet since we'll be getting some more money now anyway. And It'll get, give us a clearer sense of how much we're doing. Or how much money we got left. I just read someone said in the comments that maybe motion blur is turned on in the options. Welcome. Because I think that that's going to cause a bit of a problem. But hopefully we'll... Uh, I'll sort that out for the next episode. I don't want to do it midway through this episode kind of thing. And I just got the message on my phone now. Type B. Bit harder. But you've got to go through the four for the four different lines, I think. Four different rows of bottle caps. Okay, we've got some Ashleys on the go. Always fun. <gasps> Thousand as well, look. There's a lot. We might still be able to get one or two... One or two bottle caps out of this round, but because whenever you hit Ashley, you're just losing the chance of having all the bottle caps. Cool. Oh, I thought... I didn't realise they would stop and go back midway. This is why I don't just stand in the middle. You never know where the Ashleys are coming up in between Ganados. Oh, don't reload. Reload in the middle is bad. We're having a bad round. I don't know. Not very well. None! Seriously! I know we shot an Ashley, but bloody hell. Okay, we'll try that again. 
normally decent at this as well. Can't have. The thing is, we missed a couple of Gandalf Savong as well, didn't we? So, not good. Ooh, I probably did it that time. I'm learning. <laughs> I learned that they stopped midway. Ah. Oh, God, I. Thing is, Leon does shake as well. Makes it a little bit harder. Three. Nice. We gotta do our one more time then. We're nearly there. I don't like using the sniper option. It's, it makes things so hard, because it's the shitty old sniper, you know? So hard. Seems to be the same again. I think it must be once you get uh, four uh, bottle caps and you still have more to do. It had changed the game a little bit, changed the, the shooting range a little bit for you. Keep variety going, I suppose. So I don't mind. What do you think about this mini game anyway? I quite like it myself. It does take you out to the scary atmosphere of the main game, which can be good and bad. It can break up the tensity. But is that a good thing? Tenseness? Tensity? Yeah. Something like that. Do we get three? Yeah. Two. Oh, bollocks. One more. <laughs> it should be a bit different this time, though, so we get to see something a bit different. Come on. Yeah, it is. Look at it. This, I can see the reason for the sniping one, because it is quite far. But even still, we should be fine. I've played COD. And I have, and I'm fine at long range shooting with assault weapons, in that game at least. So, I don't mind that it's such a big different distance. Oh, oh, and Salazar head, which I thought was a UFO for the longest time, but it's not, it's like a little Salazar head. <laughs> and it gives you a big boost in points, a big, big boost. Here we go, that's all the bottle caps, second row complete, 25,000 pesetas, I'll keep going up. Let's have a look at it, a little look at it. Yeah. Don Jose. Don Diego? I don't know what Don means. I thought Don was like Mafia style. <laughs> Apparently not. This is where I learnt the names of the Chainsaw guys. Dr. Salvador and Bella Sisters by her. Yeah. Anyway, let's get out here. We're done for that place again. And we're going to do a bit of shopping to end the episode. Got some rare what we got here? Selling. We got loads of grenades and stuff, but we'll be making use of those eventually, so it might seem like we got a lot of them, but... It's worth holding on to them. I'll get a chessboard, perfume bottle, pendant. Look how much money we got. Oh my god. If you buy the maps and stuff, which by this point we got quite a bit of money, so it might be worth it, you get to see where all the treasures are. They put little stars on the map and stuff. So, yeah. Blacktail. No. Ah, the broken butterfly. Now we got that. It might be worth it. Upgrading that as well. Thank you. Firepower can go up. That'll be good. Thank you. That'll be really handy later. I don't want to use the Magnum too much unless it's on really hard enemies. Thank you. Ah, later. Thank and capacity. You don't find Magnum ammo that often no, in this game, so capacity is good to upgrade once you've used the weapon a bit. You know. 
Anyways, now that we got the grails, we can go for the grail doors that it unlocks. That'll be next time though. This has been Greeny XI. Hope you've enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again in a bit when <laughs> we do just that. See you in a bit, folks.